Yes, it's me. I know we've disappeared for ages. I've been trying to work out a way to still make videos and do the work that I'm doing. You guys might not be aware. Some of you will be. Um, I'm currently back at college. I'm training in dentistry. Yes, I know that's really random, but I'm working like a lot, a lot of hours and then also doing a lot of studying and sitting down making videos at the moment just hasn't really been possible. But I have a workaround. We're doing it as a podcast instead, yes. So there's going to be a bit of background gameplay and whatnot, uh, but that's going to be it. There's not going to be snippets of games. There's not going to be as much editing. It's just going to be more something that you guys can kind of just listen to, and there's just going to be a single video clip in the background, and that's purely going to be it. Is that going to be for everyone? No, I know some people aren't going to like that, but it's either that or I can't do the videos. So please leave me a comment and let me know what you think. I know a lot of people only watch the videos to kind of listen to the news and rumors anyway. So fingers crossed you guys can appreciate this is the only way that I can make videos at the moment and still kind of get stuff out there. So we're going to get into it. Things are going to stay the same. It's going to be like the same kind of stuff that we talk about. So I'm going to start off with the drop. Uh, new games that are due out rather than specific to the week. It's just going to be new games that are due out over the next like week or two or whatever stuff that I'm excited for. And it's not even a game as such. It's it's kind of an add-on, an upgrade. It's Warzone 2.0. Um, that's due out, I think, on the 16th. I know Warzone's massive. Everyone's loving Call of Duty at the minute. I'll be honest. Again, I said it before. As soon as Modern Warfare came out and they changed things, I started hating Call of Duty. The only one that I still love and play these days is Black Ops 4. And it's just the way that the attachments and everything work. I hate how complex they've made it. It's just not for me. However, when it comes to Warzone, I can appreciate it in a battle royale. But when it comes to a multiplayer game where you just want to run around and shoot people and not have to think too much about it, that's where it gets annoying. But yeah, Warzone 2.0 is due out. It's the big BR game, new maps, new everything. It's going to be interesting to see how it plays, whether or not people adapt to it, I'm not too sure. But either way, it looks like it's going to be tons and tons of fun. Um, when it comes to BR games, I'm surprised they haven't died off yet, if I'm being completely honest with you. I would kind of expected it to be a bit of a fad, and after a bit of a while, people would start getting bored and go back onto the standard stuff. But it's still going strong, so hey-ho. Curious to see what you guys think. Out of new games this week, which do you think I should be checking out, apart from Warzone 2.0? Other new games. You guys have had the PlayStation Plus games now for November, for about a week or so now. Um, for anyone that's not checked them out, we've got Neo 2 uh, Remastered. Um... This game, I've never played it, I'll be honest with you. I've got it downloaded, but I haven't touched it yet. It's an RPG game. It looks like it could be cool. The only game that I've actually been playing this week that has been a PlayStation Plus title is the Harry Potter Collection. I love it. I already owned it, though, so I already kind of sat there and jumped on it and thought, yeah, I bought this game a, a, about six, seven months ago, I think. Um, and yeah, now it's free for everyone. But you get to play through the whole story of Harry Potter, the only thing that's a little bit irritating for me, which is not really a negative as such, it's just each year doesn't seem to take that long to complete. Um, I would have loved it if it took so much longer. There's so much more detail that I think could have been put in each year for the story. I think it feels not rushed as such, but a little bit more crammed in. But out of the games that have been out this month, I think that's the one that I've definitely been looking at and enjoying the most. And then Heavenly Bodies, which is another one. I jumped on it for about 5-10 minutes or so. It seems okay, just not really put much time into it. Um, it's a weightless motion challenge physics game. And it is what it is. If you're into this sort of stuff, you're going to enjoy it. If you're not, then you're not. The only way that I could kind of explain the controls for it, it reminds me a little bit, even though it's different, a little bit like Human Fall Flat. So you're using like your left and right thumbsticks to control your arms and push and pull and stuff. Um, it does add to the game and you can play with friends co-op as well. Uh, but again, out of the ones that have been out this month, I definitely think Lego is the standout one there. But again, I am curious to see what you guys think. On to the rumours though, the main thing that you guys watch for, Back for Blood is rumoured, the big zombie game. Um, I played this a bit ago, however I would only advise to play Back for Blood with a friend or a group of friends. Do not jump in it with randoms, it just ruins it. Um, I've played it with a couple of friends and I absolutely loved it, going through the story, going through each camp, going through each level, killing the zombies and just kind of progressing through it at a decent pace. 
every time I've jumped onto it with randoms, it's people doing like speed runs and stuff and it kind of just ruined the experience. It's the only thing that I'd say. But I do think it would make a decent PlayStation Plus title. So when, so if it does go live and this is what we end up getting in December and you're playing it over Christmas, make sure you jump in the Discord so you can find a decent group of people to play with and actually enjoy the game. Bonus content. It's always nice to get something for free, whether or not it is through PlayStation Plus or it's through something else. And as usual, we're looking at Twitch Prime. Don't worry if you don't have an active membership. There's a link at the top of the description where you get a 30-day free trial to claim as much free stuff as you like, basically. Um, but you can actually claim yourself Fallout New Vegas. I love the Fallout games. Um, I never used to. I think it's just as I've grown, I kind of started to appreciate them more. New Vegas is one that I have never actually played. So if you're after another free game that you can play right now, make sure you claim it for your Twitch Prime. And again, if you don't have Twitch Prime, there's a link down below where you can get it for free. There's tons of add-ons for games that you'll play right now and a load of free games that you can claim as well. Now the music that you can hear in the background, I'm going to butcher the name for it, but Shalali Abdullala. I, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, I love this sort of music. I love it. I love the vibe for it. Just chilling out with a bit of Afro beats. I'm going to be quiet for like 20, 30 seconds so you guys can have a listen. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think in my music choice. But there we go, what have I been up to? Well, I've been in surgery for like a month now and yes, I do mean actually in surgery. I work in a dentist at the minute and it's it's not as you expect where people are just coming in for checkups. It's a specialist dentist where people are getting implants and bone grafts and all that sort of stuff. So. I've literally been sat there while people have been getting their jaws chiselled out and getting bone grafts done and getting their teeth ripped out and it's it's pretty interesting but pretty daunting at the same time um, and apart from that kind of stuff with work it's kind of been family time obviously it's been Halloween which didn't really do much just did pumpkins actually made a pumpkin which um, had a cat's asshole on it yes if you want to see it, check out my Instagram. That's where pictures are going to go on the videos. Just to get them up, I just don't have the time to fully edit. So the, th the whole thing of it being a podcast, that's kind of what I mean. Um, but yeah, if you're interested in what I've done at Halloween and bonfire night and stuff, make sure you head on over to my Instagram. I'm going to be uploading everything that I get up to. I know you guys get interested in what I do in my personal life and stuff that I'm up to. And the easiest way for me to do it is probably posting on Instagram. Um, rather than editing it into videos, but that's pretty much what I've been doing with my life over the past month or so work 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 and off to a few shows um, actually going watching Daniel Sloss this evening a comedian never seen him live before so that should be interesting but that's what I've been up to. Now, before we go on to my predictions, if you guys are curious about my setup, I've mentioned it a few times, there's links down below. If you're curious, they will give you a bit of a discount when you click through. I use mid-range stuff that works great, but doesn't break the bank. Uh, whether it's the software, monitors, even the microphone, I think it's um, called an ICE microphone that I use. Completely brain fart moment. Um, but yeah, if you're curious, check out the links down below. But to finish up with my predictions, there's one game that I'm going to go for, and it's a game called Artful Escape. Now, I've been looking at this game for a while, and the reason behind it is because I love the music side of it. Yes, I know that's a little bit strange, um, but it's an adventure game where you go on an intergalactic soul-searching journey, torn between his quiet folk heritage and love for rock music. So, yeah, it's, it's a little bit strange, um, looking at the trailer and stuff for it myself obviously you guys might have to check it out yourself but it looks very cyberpunky style and um, it looks very interesting as well though so i'm curious something like this i know a lot of people are going to say we've never heard of it not interested and most of the time i agree unless i spot a game that's different and an indie kind of game that i personally think looks pretty cool and that's the whole thing about playstation plus i suppose getting you to play games that you wouldn't usually play 
but that's what I'm going to go with in my prediction. Now, anything that I have mentioned, if you guys are looking for new people to play with, or if you want to be able to get in touch with me personally direct, jump in the Discord. There's links for that down below as well. Um, same with Twitter, anything that I don't share on YouTube, which I'll be honest, at the moment, I just don't have the time. It's usually on Twitter or Instagram, and there's links that are popped up. So if you're curious about all that sort of stuff, make sure you're following over on there as well. Now, this is the first video that I'm doing, or podcast, so bear with me on it. I've kind of just sat down today and thought, yes, if I do it this way, it's going to work. Um, I'm going to try and find a set day to do it, which I think might possibly stick to a Tuesday, or it might actually run to a Monday or a Sunday, but we'll figure it out next week. I've got the next couple of days to kind of get that set in stone of when I can do it, but it is going to be a weekly thing. It's going to be continuous. It's just going to be in a podcast version. So you can sit and watch it on your TV with the gameplay in the background, which it's not always going to be a PlayStation Plus title. It's just going to be whatever. Or you can kind of just sit with your headphones in and listen along. But again, I am curious to see what you think about the, the concept of doing it that way compared to just stopping it all together. So leave a comment, let me know, let me know your thoughts. But that's it for this one. Cheers for listening, and I'll catch you guys next time.